Hello everybody, it's Wacky Walk. How are the bloody highs? And we're here today with another reaction video about the deranged gambling addict who lost $10 million. It's from Turkey Tom. I'll leave a link in the description for his channel. Let's get into the video and see this crazy $10 million loss, y'all. Online gambling is just regular gambling on speed. Hey, good. But what if you actually did speed and then went to online gambling in your family's home in front of over a thousand people? Hey, buddy, say hi, mom. Oh, no. Oh, my God, there it is. No! Ah, dude. Boss man Jack. Well, damn! In his mum's house, he does all that? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. That's crazy. I've seen a lot of that happening now, like YouTube channels popping up about online gambling. I'm not a big fan of it myself because I don't have any money and I don't want to, I'm not that kind of risk taker. But I see Pete, this guy, seen a few of his videos lately on YouTube, losing heaps of money and getting it back and have these crazy mental breaks and cycles. And he does it all live on kick. So yeah, it's, let's get into it, yo. Was born Austin Curtis Peterson in April, 1995 okay. to two Normally loving looks. parents. He grew up with one sibling in a good, stable environment. His parents seem really wholesome. Real with his mom often posting about really? her love and support for her sons, which means a lot considering the things Austin gets up to. Austin's brother, Andrew, graduated from college, got married, has a job at an insurance company, Really? and is in an alternative rock band. Lol cows often come from broken homes, but Andrew being completely normal in every way proves that there's no issue with their upbringing whatsoever. So it's a normal family and this guy's just like this. I wonder how it all started. Let's find out. Ever. The brothers seem to be on good terms with each other nowadays, despite the hints that they were at one point at odds, with Austin recounting a physical fight between them at an undisclosed point in time. My brother, I knocked him out cold. But this hardly proves that they hated each other or anything serious like that. If anything, the fact that the two brothers fought once That's makes their relationship more normal rather than the opposite. Eventually, it seems they simply grew apart and lost touch, with Austin even admitting to having forgotten his brother's birthday. Bro, he just turned 32. Now I think about it. September 22nd. Yeah. I like totally miss his birthday. No, I think about it. <laughs> in his youth, Austin was a bit of a delinquent. Imagine. He liked skateboarding, smoking weed, fishing, and being a criminal. In 2013, when Austin was 18, he was caught trying to buy alcohol while underage. But this is a very common charge, and were this the only one he got, it wouldn't really- He looks so normal there. That's kind of scary. How badly he gets- they get addicted to gambling. Ugh. Oh. Really matter. However, one year later, Austin, accompanied by two friends, rampaged through the Brickshire area of New Kent, Virginia. And that's all it, how it starts. It's a bad choice. You make a bad choice and your life can turn, go from being at height to go all the way down into the shit. <sighs> Rummaging from through 12 vehicles family. and stealing any- I wish I had a house like that growing up. I wish I had family like that. I had, like, I was always living in housing commission and all that, so... <sighs> anything they could find. The reported stolen items included loose change, credit cards, a high-end camera, jewelry, and even a firearm. Though I should say the person responsible for taking the gun was one of Austin's accomplices. Yeah. Following an investigation okay. by the New Kent Sheriff's Office, the three of them were arrested in connection to the robberies. Mm. From what I can understand, he was charged with a total of 21 counts, including three different kinds of larceny and tampering with a vehicle. However, he got a deal in which he pled guilty to just four of those counts, all of them misdemeanors, and all the other charges would be dropped with him getting a year of probation and a fine of a little over three grand as a means of restitution to the victims. Dude, that's still a lot of money though. Three grand US. That's like 4,500 Australian. I'm in Australia, y'all. So. To how poorly planned and executed this criminal act was from the get-go, Austin was probably going to get caught no matter what he did, but I should note the fact that he made it easy for the cops to connect him to it when he started looking up items he'd stolen on Google to see what they were worth, presumably so that he could ask for that value from the person he intended to pawn it to, who was also arrested and convicted, by the way. Ultimately, Austin only spent 29 days in prison. The judge- He's not very smart. He's basically what he's saying, yo. Imagine Googling that stuff on your computer. His reasoning being that it was a sufficient wake-up call for Austin to not reoffend. It's unknown what exactly swayed the judge, but it's speculated there were many members of the community, including the deputy police chief of the county, testifying in favor of Austin's character. According to them, Austin had just fallen into the wrong crowd and was a normal kid caught up in drugs, alcohol, and immaturity. When viewers brought this up on stream, he showed a lot of remorse and admitted the reason for the crime was to feed his addiction to Xanax. Karma bit me so hard in the ass, and I deserve every fucking bit of it, and I'm still not the same. I will never be the same again after I got arrested for stealing out of cars, dude. Innocent people's cars, bro. I am not like that, bro. At all, man. But before we totally... 
oh, well, why don't you change your life around then? Why don't you get a job? Like, make something of your life. I mean, he still lives in his parents' house and he's, what, 35 or something? He looks pretty old, doesn't he? But um, I don't know, like, if you make one, as I said, one wrong choice in life, you, your life goes downhill. And um, it's kind of sad because he had such a good upbringing, like cooking in his house. Look at the door be destroyed behind him, y'all. Totally move on from this topic, there's a little wrinkle in this story I think is worth delving into. Many people, including Austin himself, has mentioned that this case resulted in a felony conviction, which actually isn't the case. You see, it's very strongly suggested in the articles about the case that his accomplices pled guilty, but that Austin went above and beyond and actually cooperated with the police against them, thus making- So he snitched on his friends too. Oh no, he snitched on his friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh my that tells so about someone's character i know we got it off of a play but oh come on now making him a snitch this goes a long way to explain why those very serious charges on which they had him dead to rights were suddenly oh. dropped and only the misdemeanor charges stuck but this isn't just speculation the court documents prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that austin is in fact not a felon in turn this means that whenever he calls himself one it's most likely him just trying to avoid people from figuring out that he snitched after the reality check that was his brief stint in jail and probation sentencing austin decidedly moved away from the street life and instead developed an interest in old school runescape for context osrs requires a monthly fee to play but Damn. unlike other mmo 44 pounds a month rpgs it had its in-game gold become a kind it's of cryptocurrency of as players could pay for their memberships using it causing a natural exchange rate oh, to develop around it one okay. big win on a high stakes wager in the dual arena which players affectionately called the what same casino could fund a player's membership for years austin started <laughs> streaming it in 2019 under the name austin 07 and immediately gained a reputation for being what is called a debt streamer he lost millions worth of in-game gold and proceeded to beg his audience for more only to lose it all again eventually austin accrued a total Damn. debt of 30 billion gold which turned out to be worth well over six so he's gone from jail and started streaming where he's gone pretty good and now he's like with streaming you meant to make a bit of money not no lose money while you're streaming he's going backwards this guy y'all thousand dollars why are they just to me every fucking day bro how am i supposed to get a fucking damn it 30 fucking bill 30 bill debt 30 not fucking 10 not five 30 Built that. Austin 07 became infamous well, on Reddit, where wrong. users were critical of his shameless demand for loans from his audience, with him eventually- I could never, like, I crack subs on my eggs. I crack eggs on my uh, skull for subs. Subs on my eggs. Uh, eggs on my head for subs and all that, but that's just for a laugh. I could never sit there and go, pre, 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 pre. That's what you have your family for and your parents. You don't do that on Twitch. That's just degrading. I don't know. That's just weird being exposed for trying to sell in-game gold he'd been lent for real-life money, allegedly to get drugs, which makes sense given it netted him a measly 50 bucks. While pretty meaningless in-game, it can <sighs> probably temporarily satisfy his craving for the za. Austin claims he wanted to pay back- I don't understand, like, this is- I don't understand why the parents are allowing him to do this and take drugs and all that. Do they know that he's on drugs? Surely they would know. Why like, can't he be shipped off to the army or something? And they're coming and grab him? Isn't there something you can do with that chat? I mean, I don't know. Viewers, let me know. I have no idea. Back all the loans. But the only thing he ever did with the money he kept getting loaned to him was gambling it all away again. Not yeah, I don't think this guy's one of those one of those guys that you let do whatever he wants is gonna be very successful. You're gonna have to boss his ass around and tell him what to do and basically force him to get a job before he does anything because I mean he looks like a big dude, so I mean I don't know. Not only did he blatantly not care for the fact that he was in actual debt and still gambling, but he also coped by blaming the developers of the game for his losses, claiming it was the game's fault for not letting him win. Damn. No. Dude, my RNG is so bad. <laughs> Tell me my RNG ain't bad. Though. It's the game's Much fault. Like his oh, that's right. It's the game's fault. What, what a surprise. It's RNG. Ah. Addiction. When he has a compulsion motivating That's him, Austin completely loses touch with reality, which even landed him in an actual psych ward once. I've been in the psych ward before too, bro. This one time, I got back into RuneScape after not playing for a while. I was so high on RuneScape, I stayed up for over so three high. days straight. So high on RuneScape. Okay, you go. Okay. I was not doing any drugs. I was completely sober. No weed. Nothing. You know the ones that always uh, proclaim to say they're not on drugs. I'm not on drugs, I'm not on drugs. Usually you're on drugs. 
if you if you say that out of the blue and you're trying to convince yourself, you're in denial. Or he's trying to. I started hallucinating, bro. I started writing weird, like crazy shit on my Facebook, bro. Like I'm gonna save the world, and I thought I was Jesus Christ, dude. Ever since information about Austin's drug use became Jesus. public, people became increasingly skeptical that he was ever oh, truly so. That's not drugs. In his head. For any significant period of time. But even if this is the case, it doesn't seem like Austin himself understands how bad the situation is, or at least not well enough to do anything to stop it. You would think that this degree of awareness of Don't do drugs, yo. Like, that's just my advice. And if you do do it, make sure you're in a state that it's legal. That's all I'm saying. That his tendency toward addiction would result in some kind of self-reflection on Austin's part, especially since, with or without the gambling, Austin was an entertaining personality that realistically could scrape together a decent audience from doing regular streaming if he really wanted to. But yeah, everyone, agree. from his genuine viewers to his trolls, and even himself, tendencies. knew what time it was. And no matter how remorseful he occasionally seemed about his habit or his debt, he was going right back to it as soon as he could. His career as a lol cow officially began with many people religiously watching him just so they could clip his insane moments, of which they there are an infinite amount of compilations on YouTube. In one instance of people messing with him, a troll convinced Austin that they were an organization interested in sponsoring him, which he probably saw as an infinite source of gambling fuel. So gullible, he just wants that money to gamble, doesn't he? But soon after he began announcing it to his audience, this supposed sponsor renamed all of the channels in his server to Austin Loves Crack and then deleted the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> or completely. Oh. You would think that after all this hassle, he was going to hang up his gloves and call oh. it a day. Unfortunately, it was just too late for him, as the seeds of addiction had already been sown, and Austin's undoing was simply a matter of time. Come on, five or six, four, five, six, please. Please, lady. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, I lost it all. It's all gone. It's all gone. I just lost everything. People love gambling, and after it was banned on- It's getting so popular gambling, isn't it? Like, I'm kicking that. I even see like YouTube videos coming up about it. It's crazy. I mean, if you have the money to do it and you have a budget, but pay your bills first, eh? Twitch, it had to go somewhere. Lucky for them, yeah, Kick had been founded by Ed Craven and a streamer by the name of Trainrex, on whom I've already oh, made a, a video. Wreck. And Kick was much friendlier to gambling content. When Twitch dropped the ban hammer, all Trainwreck is a big uh, Kick streamer uh, uh, for gambling, yeah? All the gamblers found their new home there, and one of these people would be not Austin 07. Because on Kick, it's unrestricted, so anyone could go watch, I think. Um, so yeah, Twitch has rules because they have sponsors and all that. So that's why they banned it. I was in the saga. I was streaming at, uh, at the time where it all got in place. Uh, Trainwreck was on Twitch, then he went to Kick. Um, and yeah, so I think there's no age restriction on Kick. If I'm wrong, let me know but Boss Man Jack. You see, whereas Austin 07 had to beat around the bush and gamble through RuneScape, Boss Man Jack did justice to his name and gambled like a boss would, blatantly, with no fear of potential losses and debt. According to a post on Kiwi Farms from a longtime viewer of his, before moving to kick, Austin gambled on another site where he allegedly wagered a whopping total of $700,000. Once again, he gained infamy for his compulsive behavior pattern of begging for a donation, getting it, then immediately turning it into nothing, rinse, and repeat. That is a bad circle to be in, yo. You never get ahead. You never have anything. I mean, you get those big highs, but if any, we all know gambling, right? You never win unless you have a budget and you you take it out. I've seen clips of this guy who just. He just can't stop, man. He can't stop. Actually, given how crusty and withered he looks in most of these streams, I don't know that there was a lot of rinsing going on. He began referring to donations as juicers, which, while hilarious, isn't as hilarious as the innumerable oh times he reacted God. to losing on a bet by gratuitously destroying parts of his computer or his bedroom. That's his mom's house. Mom and dad's house. Again, he lives in his parents' house, so he's technically destroying their property. To viewers' astonishment, That's Boss Man insane. came back every day and consistently lost thousands upon thousands of dollars, gaining nothing but hate watchers in the process who came in droves to witness his live stream self-destruction it was pointed out that he <laughs> that'd be so if when you lose right and people giving you shit in the chat it would absolutely break you i couldn't do it i don't know how he does it you're so deep in the i can't lose 50 dollars. if i lose 50 dollars on the pokies i'm upset so you can imagine this guy a cycle that he even repeated the exact same phrases oh my god oh my god oh i just lost it all <gasps> Oh my god, I really did. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, oh my god! Oh my god, another 400. Oh my god, I just lost every fucking penny. Dude! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo! Oh my- Step those feet, y'all! Austin does seem to have money. Whoa! Snakey stepping! 
moments of clarity where he acknowledges that gambling is destroying his life and that he wishes he treated his parents better. Dude, oh my god, it took me to my wife, dude. Whoa! Look at that wall, yo! He's just punched the shit out of the door, it's gone? Holy hell! I am bleeding. Oh my god, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. I gotta go, oh, guys. Oh, you, oh, you punched walls out. Oh, you barely come out of my hair, y'all. Oh. I cannot believe I just did that to myself, dude. I cannot believe I just lost You need to go on a sock board, man. Oh my fucking god, dude. I swear to god. Why the fuck would I advertise this site? For fucking months on end and never ever get some fucking payback. Fuck you. I'm fucking done. Fucking scammers. Much like he did. Don't. The Betty Kim's coming back every day. He's so addicted. I've never seen a more addicted person than this. During the OSRS era, Austin back. often accused Stake of rigging their games against him, which um, is technically true, I guess. Of Any gambler do. worth his salt knows that all games are rigged in the house's favor. And if I were to guess, he's just acting like this is some kind of scandal to evade the responsibility for losing the money he gambles. If he actually cared that bets are rigged to favor the house, the house being Stake, wouldn't he have stopped gambling a long time ago? Like Occam's Razor, the simplest explanation is probably the true one. He is an addict coming up with rationalizations about the consequences consequences of his addiction. It's not like he actually thinks he's going to start consistently turning a profit any day now. He knows what he's doing. He just walks, I think he walks the rushes, and the ups and the ups, but he can't stop. When he gets like 30 grand winnings, he just goes, oh, we'll do another one. Do, do, do another one. Keep going. Keep going. Do one more, one more. But to Go say on. that it got bad is an understatement. Austin <laughs> was streaming nine thing. hours a day. During that period, he often started a new stream over 10 separate times after rage quitting, stopping only when he went completely yeah, bust and hot, lost all his money. Initially, it may seem confusing why people would watch someone destroy their financial life in front of an audience. Of yeah, because it makes them feel better about themselves. So when you watch someone like this, you go, my not last, not too bad, y'all of over a thousand people, but just like Boss Man is addicted to gambling, his viewers are addicted to the emotional roller coaster his gambling addiction provides oh, him yeah. with. At any moment, Austin could win a life-saving <laughs> amount of money, and every stream starts out with the oh, same glimmer. I, remember, I wonder how many chairs he's destroyed over the time that he's been streaming. Does anyone know? The poor wall is just taking a pounding. Of hope the that up? inevitably gets destroyed beyond There's recognition by now. the end what of it, along with Austin's drywall. In one extraordinary instance, he actually succeeded in getting out of debt on stream. Oh my god, boys. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't stop saying it. Oh my god! You! Oh my god! 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 Yo! Oh my god! I'm dead free! I'm f dead free! I'm f dead free! I'm f dead free! Look how high it gets! months! It's been as much as the Pure audience reaction. sadistically enjoys watching Austin dig himself into a financial black hole, they also partake in his joy when he wins. However, rarely that happens. Unfortunately for Austin, gambling only really goes one way, downwards. Unlike in a normal cas- Well, when you win big, usually people take pull it out, as I used to say, and take it, take the winnings. But if you get a big win, it's not very smart to say, stay on the same machine. I used to gamble with myself. You go to another one. You know what I mean? Or call it quits for the night. Be smart about it, don't you know? Casino, where the process of making bets is much slower and you can have drinks and socialize, on stake, you can click through many games and play them much faster than you ever could in real life. Meaning you get to speed run your own bankruptcy as a neat, while an audience of over a thousand people cheers for your demise. I never could understand the online gambling. I just thought, yeah, go to, because it's more, you got better odds at the pub, you know, whatever, having a beer and that, because they can really fix the odds on online because they can literally tweak it all day. At a machine at a pub, they've got to have someone come in and tinker with it, you know what I mean? Mize. Based on stake oh, rankings as of late February, he's wagered over eight and a half million dollars on stake alone with a net loss of around 300,000. His insanely risky bets lose him money every single day, yet he just Damn. keeps coming back for more. There's no doubt that viewers are instrumental in the perpetuation of these habits as they often give him money when he begs just to see it all disappear all over again. Oh, no, dude, I want what? everybody to give me money right now, even if you're going to lose your rent money. I need it all. I need it all. I need your rent money. I need your food money. I don't care if you are going to lose your house. I need it. I'm sorry. Imagine saying that to somebody, y'all. That'd be terrible.
Oh. Sorry, I need that money. I'm Where's sorry. It's more important that I gamble. The humiliation <laughs> rituals are even egged on by Boss Man, such as when he offered to shave his head for 150 bucks on stream, which is not even that much considering his gargantuan net loss. Unfortunately for him, the donor to be flaked out and the money never actually came through, <laughs> meaning he shaved his head for no reason. That's I'm still waiting on it. I don't know what's going on, man. It's been like 20, 30 minutes, bro. That has has it not been? Bro, I just got trolled so fucking hard, dude. I cannot believe that this fucking happened, dude. I cannot believe that this happened. What a fucking dickhead, dude. Why the f would you do that? Why the f gives you one fucking reason to think that's gotcha. okay? Besides his e-begging and compulsive gambling habit, Austin also goes the extra mile to make himself unlikable by frequently adopting an overconfident high roller attitude. Insulting fans yeah, who are- Yeah, like he's not a high roller and he's, got, he's delusional. That's scary. Delusional ad addict on gambling. Not a good recipe. And he comes up from a good background, like a nice house. His brother's got a great job. He seems to have nice parents. And this is what he's doing with his life. Begging him to stop when he's still up. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Leave, Austin. Leave. You got to leave. Just leave, bro. Dip. Get out of there. F*** that. I'm staying, baby. Now, watch this. We're going to go to four, 500 at the lowest. Bro, all the threes, man. What a f***ing joke. Oh, my. How'd that go for him, eh? Just stay it, yo. Stay it. Where's the confidence now? God, I had $600 a minute ago. Now it wants to sit there and take everything. Thank you so much. Oh Should my god! Oh my god! Dude, oh my god! Wow! His audience isn't the only target of this behavior either. I just want another thousand dollars! I swear to god! I don't want to hear it! Shut the up! Wow! Shut the up! And he lives there and he talks to them like that. Free. Imagine having no responsibilities, no bills. Oh. You shut He's the never grown up. You're a fucking bunch of Woo! Holy f Yo, shut the f up, dude! Hey! Shut the f up! Austin is almost 30 years old and lives with his oh, parents. Oh, he looks like about 40, yo. Look at him. Cameron is not good for your body and your heart. While he certainly could put together enough funds to have a pretty nice place of his own, he often brags on stream about how he doesn't pay rent and gets free food, as if it was a merit that he was still mooching off of his family as an adult, which contributes to the negative feedback loop of his audience's hate watching. Austin's parents are definitely on the older side, as we can tell from their few appearances on stream. Mom, I know it's really messy. I get it. I know. Please don't start cleaning up. Just, just, just look at the chat. I know. Now, this is my mother. Mama looks nice. Say hi to everybody. Everybody hi. say hi to my mom. Hi. It's going to go really fast, though. It's going to go really fast. Oh, but no. I want to... No, stop. Stop. What the f*** are you doing? Why would you read that out loud? Not only does he live in their house rent-free, eat wow. their food, and destroy his bedroom for no reason other than his self-inflicted... She looks like a nice lady, and she made him gambling losses, he treats them like shit. Honestly, the average parents would have given up a long time ago, or at least kicked their kid to the curb after enduring years yeah, of this behavior. Mom, the way that Austin talks to his parents is shocking to anyone with respect for the people who brought them into this world. Look, at, look, everyone, everybody type in a love you, mama boss man. Come on, guys. Can you not? Look at this fish. You are so, dude, you are embarrassing the shit out of me, cleaning all this shit up. In spite of the repeated abuse, his parents shut- <laughs> She brings him food. Oh, she enables him, yo. Uh oh. Time and time again that they love their son and will continue to provide for him. Austin's mom often appears on stream and helps him clean the absolute tornado shitstorm that is his bedroom. Not only are they supportive of his- Oh, there's the door. The door's still there, yo. Ambling career by providing him a stable safety net from which to operate, but they also support his deep-seated love for the Zaw. My mom just found that nugget I, I, I lost. My mom just found the nug. Remember I lost that nugget? Oh my gosh. Why would she do that? Dude, this is some straight zah. People's speculation about Austin's parents secretly hating him got so much traction in the chat that he once called his mom over to prove otherwise, with mixed results. Tell the chat one good thing about me and that they don't hate me like these guys try to tell me. I do not hate him. He's my son. I brought him into the world. Okay, but well, how can you hate your own child? It's interesting that she didn't actually say anything good about him <laughs> and instead... Just but she still loves him. Like, I don't think no many parents that would put up with this. Like, look at it. Look at the room. This went on about how a mother can't hate her son, almost like she's trying to convince herself just as much as the audience. He purposely called her instead of his dad because their relationship is on much rockier terms. Whoa. Austin gets much more reactive whenever his dad randomly appears from the curtain, usually berating him for interrupting the stream for things that could be said in a text message. Austin. Dude, what the f***? Austin. What, dude? What? You have a burger. What do you want? What? 
have a burger down. Okay, dude, text me or something, bro. Oh, people don't text. My dad doesn't text and he's like 73, four. You don't gotta sit there and yell at my dad, yell at me, bro. That's the man who allows him to live rent-free, bringing him dinner directly to his bedroom. His father only asks the bare minimum from what? him that he occasionally clean his room and refrain from screaming about anal sex and banging his audience members' moms in the household. These expectations are unsurprisingly never met, and Austin's reaction to being held accountable is to be expected. <laughs> Damn that anal tight! Hey. What? Yeah, sure, text me or something. Sorry, guys. My dad's gonna be a fucking sucker. I don't think many people's dads would react as peacefully to being called a sucker by- Wow. No, they wouldn't, actually. They wouldn't. Their man-child son, who Whoa! spends the whole day gambling in the World War One trench he him. turned his bedroom into by blasting holes in the wall with his fists. It's especially <laughs> bad since he's doing all of this in front of, at the very least- Pig He gets that many viewers doing this, yo. Peak view is 220, average view is 806. Hundreds of people, which aggravates the level of disrespect he displays to his dad. We can only hope that one day, Austin experiences genuine remorse for the way he treats his parents. But his parents were the only victims of his rage. That'd be a company Far showing off. I've mentioned it many times already, but there's really no overplaying the amount of damage he does to his living space due to his losses. These are really funny, obviously, but when you realize this is a real person actually getting this furious pretty much every single day, you want- And he comes back every day, yo. Ugh. I wonder how this man's heart hasn't blown up from yeah. all the stress. He stayed awake gambling on stream for days straight, destroying his bedroom, bank account, and psyche nonstop. You might have noticed that in many of the clips we've played so far that the boss man's room has no door, resorting <laughs> to a towel draped over the doorway to separate his gambling headquarters from the rest of the house. Though that clearly does nothing to prevent his parents from hearing him scream and argue with chat. He destroys his door so often that it can be used as a makeshift sanity meter, and the closer it is to being completely gone, the closer he is to becoming a feral ghoul from fallout for avid Yay! viewers this is known as boss man jack's door lore fans tracked as his daily losses would cause austin to progressively destroy the wall and door in fits of rage it's gone mate yeah i'll clean it up I'll clean up. He eventually bought a new one at the hardware store, but neglected to install it in favor of smashing his keyboard against his head and screaming at his mom. Finally, his fans got so fed up with the dismal background that one of them donated $50 desperately trying to make him install it, only for him to find out he needed to get new hinges with the door and could not just attach it to the wall. He never ended up installing the new door. Now, he's employed the ancient Yakubian technique of putting the door in front of the hole in the drywall, replacing the towel he used to have nailed there. People began pointing he put the door in front of the towel that was covering the hole for the door to go on the door. Put it on a door with hinges doesn't take that long. He's so addicted. Pointing out that his room looked like that of someone with a hard drug addiction, and they couldn't be any more right. It's been established that Austin's addictive tendencies go far beyond just online gambling. We've already mentioned how his addiction to Xanax was the primary cause of his criminal past, and at one point he was stealing his dad's coin collection to buy K2 Spice. During yeah. his streams, he can be seen constantly vaping and smoking weed through a $600 bong, occasionally yeah. celebrating when he happens upon a forsaken nug. A forum user who claims to be- That's a vicious cycle of never getting anywhere in life. A longtime fan of Austin alleged some interesting new lore. He claimed that when Jack was having late night gambling sessions on stream and stayed up, he would regularly make phone calls to a man named Derek Christmas, who would then bring coke to his house. Oh, One of Austin's no. mods admitted to sending cash app money to Derek Christmas for Austin in exchange for crypto. Forum users then deduced that this Derek was likely the same Derek who got caught in 2008 with 19 grams of crack. When his home no. was searched, his infant children were living in horrible conditions and even tested positive for the oh. substance. He was charged with felony child neglect and sentenced to three years in prison. Not only was Derek a drug dealer, which is ethically questionable in and of itself, but he was completely neglecting his children to the point where somehow they had crack in their system. This is I've never understood that people that have kids, right? That don't take care of them. It's like so people that get dogs and all that and don't take care of them. They sleep in the backyard. I've never underst understood it. That's why I don't have any kids because I don't want any. You know what I mean? 
Bet luck. Oh, that's so sad for those kids. Is the worst kind of person, and many suspect Austin is in direct contact with him. A Discord call leaked wherein someone was purchasing substances for Austin and sending money through Cash App to Derek. In the call, Austin says Derek is a big connected dealer who had spent most of his life in oh prison, indicating with some low level of certainty to forum users that this was their guy. To further confirm the boss man crack suspicions, another leak showed Austin outright admitting that not only had he already smoked crack, but continued to do so as a habit. And and even had been blackmailed with secret recordings in the past, which prompted users to dig up more info. Allegedly, during the RuneScape days, Austin admitted he was a daily user for six months straight, but as of this clip, he had also That's apparently only sock. been clean for three days. People also picked up on Austin's strange twitching while live and speculated this was due to drug abuse. Of course, streamers are hardly ever people with normal mannerisms. Uh, I'm overdressed. Like, do it, do it fart? However, Bossman Jack goes above and That's beyond. Funny. He's constantly twitching, scratching himself, grinding his jaw, and doing yeah, other things that are associated guy. with crack rather than Tourette's. Oh, come on. Here's 10K! Oh, no! Well, when you put these in context with everything yeah, else we've seen of Austin, I think it's safe to say he's going to have a hard time beating the crackhead allegations. I'm, a, I'm looking like a straight crackhead, bro. Once people <laughs> figured it out, he became less paranoid about leaks and hiding his drug habit and basically just accepted it as part of his... Damn, when he was a little kid back here, look at him back here. Where is he? Where is he? Bossman Jack was born off. Look at him back here to, uh, where were we, 22? Look at him there. A straight crackhead, bro. Once people wow, figured it out, he became less there. paranoid about leaks and hiding his drug habit and basically oh. just accepted it as part of his identity. Again, we have to contextualize that this guy is someone who came dangerously close to being a felon and lives with his I mean, I experimented when I was younger, but fuck. It's a vicious cycle to keep doing it constantly because you're constantly paranoid. It's very expensive. And um, he's so addicted to drugs and to gambling. Parents, which I'm guessing is why he was so nervous about this becoming public knowledge in the first place. He actually began leaning onto it as part of his identity, almost as if he took pride in it or found it funny. I smell crack like a motherfucker, dude. While he's passionate about his za and a fiend for the crack, he's tried a few other drugs as well. You yeah. from not really. I mean, it made me feel pretty good. I sniffed it twice. I'm sure crack <laughs> is more than enough. I haven't done it. I just sniffed it twice, yo. Oh, damn. Enough to get the job done, but meth must really help the all-nighters he pulls to gamble max. But while the boss man likes to switch things up every once in a while, he is, as the youth say, in love with the cocoa. Once, while he was streaming, he had some serious luck and won a few thousand dollars. Naturally, his reaction was to call up his plug, but before Derek even arrived, Austin had already lost all the money he intended to spend on the drugs. Oh, oh my god, I just I have to call him back again. I have to fucking Imagine, he's gonna end up dead, this guy, if you keep doing that. Call him back again, dude. Never mind, man. Don't come out. I don't have enough anymore. A forum user speculated he's doing cocaine rather than crack, since the latter makes you pick at your skin more, and there wasn't evidence he had scabs on his arms or anything like that. They did notice, however, that he used to be fatter when he was young and lost mm. weight over time, despite definitely not improving his diet or being an active person. That could be just like a, a massive gambler, too. I know people that play games like 24 7 are really skinny because they're always just playing games because they don't take care of themselves you know what i mean this meant that he probably used to only smoke weed Not and eventually added some. cocaine to his repertoire causing the weight loss the drug reveal also explained his fits of rage and extremely emotional reactions as well as the delusions of grandeur and the stories about going to the psych ward to be specific these aren't necessarily caused by the drug use itself but most likely have to do with entering abstinence since it's known to make people very volatile after austin's hair had grown out a little from the last shave one of his viewers would call in the chat for a fresh shaving austin said he would do it for 150 subs or around 750 bucks. A viewer named Signal Boot sent him 200 subs and Austin shaved his head. Well, not really. In a bizarre development, it barely made a difference, and Signal Boot expressed his disappointment, demanding Boss Man actually shave his head. Austin then argued with him that he followed the agreed terms to someone who just gave him $100 to shave his head, immediately ending the stream after this. Signal was the number one sub at the time, having given Austin almost $10,000 in that month alone. It's wild that you're trying to renegotiate after you drop me the fucking subs, bro. That's what's wild. Wow. Why wouldn't you just do it? It's fuck. He doesn't go anywhere outside, so he doesn't need to look good. Who cares? 
I literally, someone clip it, bro. I literally said like four times, I'll do a, a two for another hundred, or I'll do a, or I'll, whatever I said for 50. And you did a hundred, so I did a two. Yeah, I'm gonna get off. That got really quiet. See you guys. Another frequent donor named Fat Hacker, who gave Austin over $4,000 in juicers, trolled him by asking, are you ready for the biggest juicer of your life, only to give him nothing afterward. Austin got so <laughs> upset by this that he ended the stream and proceeded to threaten his own life. Finally, Fat Hacker told him he was just kidding and was about to send it, only to say psych again. The chat's reaction is almost exclusively praising wow. Fat Hacker and laughing at Austin, further demonstrating that his audience wow. truly takes pleasure in seeing him humiliated. Eventually, Austin got banned after constantly pestering a steak hostess for bonus his daily. He was given a two-day exclusion from the platform for what the host has described as impatience and high levels of stress during play. Normal people- Yeah. You can say, well, look at him. He's crazy. Oh, he's chat trolled him. That's so funny. Like, it's funny and sad at the same time, but if you give people enough, a person enough money, um, you know, they're not going to keep giving you money. That's just reality. People would think this would be the best thing to ever happen to Austin, him. giving him time to reflect on his Look less than frugal now. activities. Rest assured, however, that Austin refuses to change even in the face he of the consequences bangles. of his behavior because as soon- Look at his chair now. Look at his chair. His chair is just wood. He's gone to wood. Rest assured, however, that- His wood chair. <laughs> the office are broken. He's got Mom's got him a kitchen chair now. I'm not buying any more com computer chairs. Austin refuses to change, even in the face of the consequences of his behavior, because as soon as he got back on stake, people watched him lose everything and destroy his surroundings again. Oh my god. <laughs> Besides his parents, his audience, and his household items, Austin also targeted other streamers. What? For example, Yasuo was once one of the most promising League of Legends streamers in the world. He started streaming in 2015 and showed a very high level of skill in the game, attracting many viewers who came for his frequent takedowns of entire teams all by himself. He even beefed with one of, if not the most Ooh. notorious LOL streamer, Tyler1, solidifying yeah, himself as part of the community. Eventually, he landed a spot on the esports organization 100 Thieves, but to many fans' dismay, he gradually lost interest in the game and started doing other things. Because of that, he lost a significant chunk of his viewership and would frequently rage at the chat for spamming Play League. Anger problems, a burning hatred for the audience, what else could Yasuo have in common with our hero boss man Jack? You guessed it, oh, the hots gambling. for the slots, literally. Yasuo pivoted to gambling, which the fans very expressively hated, until YouTube banned both of his channels due to the promotion of gambling. I will say, he never outright promoted gambling and only used the sites which technically didn't violate the guidelines, but regardless, once the ban happened, he moved to kick. Austin appeared in the chat on Yasuo's stream where he accused him of using fake money on his bets. Yasuo, who claimed to be a hate watcher rather than a f Wow. Fan of Austin would challenge the Rat King himself to a debate. Yasuo called him a crackhead, a completely fair insult given what we've learned so far, prompting Austin to baselessly accuse him of viewbotting his streams, which was met with little else besides laughter. Yasuo proceeded to prove his transactions on stake on stream. Damn, Bossman just doesn't care. This guy's after anybody. Does what he wants, y'all. While calling Austin a scamming tweaker with no real fans and only trolls and hate watchers, this sent Bossman into a frenzy, speaking very fast and acting erratic. Well, more erratic than usual. Hey, how's it going? I wish you know. Hey, listen, you might not like me, but I wish nothing but the best. I don't you dislike you. You're just a scammer. You scam your viewers. You beat you. He does scam. If you beg for donations, you're a scammer. You harass the site you're on and you get a ban. You're not a very nice person and you need help, yo. Um, I've, don't ask, don't beg. I've never begged. I could never do it. Your mother, you you're a crack you addict, you, you need help. The oh cops should come uh, to your hey, door, they probably you best, will raid your house soon. Nothing but the best. I wish you best. Good luck, bro. Good luck. You're a fucking piece of shit. In their next encounter, <laughs> Austin became enraged after Yasuo showed the pipe tutorial video along with a picture of Austin holding a crack rock to his viewers. Boss man again accused wow. Yasuo of using fake money despite having absolutely no proof of this, followed by yet another hefty helping of him going on about how he bangs Yasuo's mom. Yasuo's <laughs> accurate breakdown of Austin's entire career and downfall was only ever answered by the insane screamings of Oh! Mr. Oh, Mr. And accusation. Well, it's pretty funny though, but Oh, he just...
He's delusional. It's scary. Ends up thinking he's better than everyone. All of this just served to make Austin look even crazier than he initially did, this since he was guy. now making unsubstantiated claims about someone else in the streaming community who, while also widely disliked, wasn't nearly as disliked as Austin himself was. Even worse, fans would catch Kick Viewbot in Austin's recent searches on stream, making it clear the reason he was so angry at Yasuo was probably a case of projection. Nice. I mean, with everything else. He was doing Kick Viewbotting? I don't know why would he, you'd even want to do that. It's just fake. Like, live in reality. Like, I only get 10 to 20 people. But the 10 to 20 people that watch me, I, they love me. And I'm just, I could never be a faker. You know what I mean? this guy has done, would it really shock you if he was viewbotting? Besides, it's a pretty common problem on the site he calls home. Oh, oh, really? Adam Ross admits his channel is being viewbotted for the past five to six months? 2023? Oh, that's just sad. Which itself is directly funded by the casino that finances Austin's degenerate lifestyle. You see, that's Austin sad. was sponsored by Stake and paid a weekly salary to promote their casinos. At one point, he was given eight grand a week to gamble, and because of his streams performing well, he got a raise to a whopping 10,000 a week, which would have amounted to a little over half a million. A year. He could have just done that, fuck, well, one grand a day and done small bets. Damn. Damn, but he just has nothing out of this. Million dollars a year before taxes. This is absolutely insane given who Austin is, but obviously most of this money would inevitably make its way right back to Stake since that's the yeah, website he that. used to gamble. Ed Craven, one of the founders of Stake, would actually join Austin's chat on a stream and donate a thousand dollars. You'd think this would be a big moment for him. Maybe he would pocket some money for once when the owner of the site that fuels his lifestyle throws him a bone. Eddie, thank you so much, bro. Holy shit, dude. Was that you, Eddie, that gave me the thousand? Oh my gosh, dude. Bro. Oh my. And it's gone. <laughs> God, dude. I just God. lost $800, bro. Oh my God, dude. Man, fuck you, Eddie. Fuck you, bro. What? You piece of shit, dude. His tendency to badmouth the company that's paying him half. What did Eddie do? He just gave him money. Oh, this guy has no class. Imagine shitting on the people that help you million dollars a year money. when he loses badly really makes it a mystery as to how the company even tolerates him at all. Maybe they were playing 4D chess and expected him to do so, knowing that getting hate and being seen as a complete buffoon is what gets people clicking on his stuff. Yeah, Given well, the people he it, encourages to play slots on the site, they're probably making more money off his fans staking their own cash than they pay yep. him. Stake has completely ruined my life. My life no, has no, no. been completely ruined. I've probably lost- No, no, no. You signed up to stake. You, you gambled. It's no one else's fault besides yours. You went on there every day. They don't ask you to come on there. You went on there. You streamed. You did this. You smoked the drugs. You, you did this. It's your fault. Half a million dollars this year to stake. These guys are sexy shit, bro. At least Austin doesn't have to be alone through wow. all of this. If any of you are ever down bad and losing hope for your love life, Bossman Jack serves as a clear reminder that there is someone for everyone. Austin eventually noticed the rare sight of an actual female in his chat and began talking to her. Until eventually there imagine online friendship blossomed into a romantic relationship. Honestly, between the crack, the debt, his parents, and the juicers, I have no idea how he even finds the time to get a girlfriend, but nevertheless, he did. Her name was Allison, and not much else is known about- Why would she want him? Is she on- Okay, I won't say it. Her. Well, except for the one time Austin doxxed her on stream, and the fact that she had a child from a previous relationship. They eventually met- <sighs> Well, there you go. <laughs> in person several times, but thankfully for the sake of their mental health and the well-being of the child, they never made any serious plans to move in together or anything. They continued to be off and on for years until Allison was revealed not to be the loyal sweetie Austin so direly needed. As oh, what a surprise. You just like to have the bit of a pound town? Screenshots leaked by one of Austin's viewers showed her flirting with someone else. In an insane twist that was very fitting for Austin's story, the screenshots implied she'd attempted to trade explicit photos of herself for nothing other than RuneScape gold. Once he found out, he became enraged, but rather than talk to her about it privately and end the relationship, Austin confronted her on a stream. In her defense- Why would he do that? That is so childish, y'all. DMs, that's private. And she claimed it was during a time when they- What's his problem? They were not together. However, Austin alleged that they had already met up IRL and were talking crazy. every single day at the time the messages were sent. Are you ready for this? As the old saying goes, until you have the uh, uh, ring on the finger, 
you're anyone's mate. It's, you know, you've got to secure the deal, mate. When you have to ring on the finger, it's up for grabs. You could say you're someone's girlfriend. It's just words. And we know nowadays words mean not, nothing to people, most people anyway. Ms. Allison, I want you to explain, I want you to explain to everybody here what these messages mean, and I want everyone in my chat to tell me if this is sus as f or not sus as f She then admitted to using manipulative tactics on Austin to make him do what she wanted, and Austin revealed that she'd gone even further than those prior messages, cheating on him by sending explicit images of herself to one of his mods. I'm not a mod anyway, so it wouldn't have made sense. Yeah, she's totally cheated on me with one of my mods before, yep. She sent one of my mods nudes, man, a long ass time ago. Why the f would I give her another chance? Apparently, he had also Bro, everyone deserves a chance. Look what your mum and dad do to you every day. They give you a chance to live there, to change your life, and you don't do it. You just keep repeating the same cycles. The poor mum. God, I wish, you know, if he didn't have a mum like that, he'd be on the street. So he should be thankful. Also previously caught her being a member of an Austin hate discord, which she claimed she forgot she was in. Though that sounds like a lie, there's no <laughs> saying for sure who's in the right, or if there's anyone in the right here. When That's both of funny. the people in a relationship are as confusingly toxic as these two were, there's no point in even speculating about it. Following accusations of having bought nudes from her despite her being his girlfriend, Austin continued to fight with his chat after Allison had already left Buy the call as they girlfriend? roasted her for being unfaithful. This started because I was so-called simping toward that girl Fox girl that won the giveaway she got real mad at me but she doesn't care and we're not together <laughs> so he was with her but he was sipping on another girl and he he thought that was okay but she can't do it with anyone else Fuck you you're a fucking you may feel inclined to sympathize with Austin here, as it's evident Allison enjoyed terrorizing him to some degree, and his drug-addled, naive personality made him especially easy to goad. Yeah, because he reacts so... It's so easy to trigger him. That's why people do it. Like, people do it to get a reaction. And it's easy. You could say, like, one word. You could say, bad haircut, or get a job or something, and he'd just blow his mind. Even after multiple breakups, she frequently returned to his chat to try and re-enter his life for whatever strange, sadistic reason. Fortunately, Austin was smart enough to cut her off for good, knowing she was bad news. Despite the fact that Kick has openly marketed itself as the edgier, shadier alternative to Twitch that allows streamers to get away with almost anything, to the point where it's gotten them in trouble, Bossman somehow managed to get a week-long ban on it. The bot said itself is the reason for a suspension, and yeah, that fits the bill. I mean, if you consider compulsively gambling everything he's ever yeah. had self-harm, then he's a professional. However, the specific instance they're referring to here is when he started punching his own head, which took place on one fateful April Fool's Day. Oh. Oh my god. This meant he officially had to cool it with his most prominent addiction for the time being. Hit your knee. I used to punch my knee when I played games. Not your head. That's where your brain is. Your knee's just muscle, mate. Think smart. During his time off, he took some time to do IRL streams on his Discord server. This included a house tour and a few cooking shows, including teaching viewers how to make a ribeye. The band gave viewers more of an inside look into Austin's human side and maybe what his life could be like had he not been plagued with his crippling addiction. Once away from his vices, he seemed like a surprisingly normal- That's sad. He could be a normal person. If you had the opportunity. Normal dude. But even Kick's ban wouldn't succeed at getting him to stop gambling on steak. Dude, I wagered 1.25 million last week. 1.25 million dollars last week. There's really no overstating the heights of financial insanity that this actual crack addict has unexplainably reached. At the very least, before this point, there was something to gain in the form of chat donos. And if you were feeling particularly generous, you could speculate that Bossman plays a lot of it up for his audience. This is proof that there is no playing up. He's he's really this f***ed up. On and off camera. Here, there was nothing. He was just drinking his bank account and taking a few donos from ch he's addicted to gambling that's that's it chat which he would immediately gamble while the relatively small amount of people on his discord server watched once thousand, the week was over minutes. he returned to kick after his band was up to his discord. fans enthusiastic welcome the positivity in the chat and from austin himself during his first stream back is almost shocking to casual onlookers used to the typical chaos of the past again it reminds us of what could have been oh my god it's real we're back! Oh my god! <laughs> What's up, everybody? Yeah, they brought stuff, guys. You guys are fucking awesome, man. Damn. He's got a good energy about him. It's just the, the gambling and the drugs are just not healthy. I mean, he could do anything now and he'd have an audience. He's just, he can't. He, he's, he's addicted. He's 
badly addicted. So deportive. Hell yeah, bitch. Maybe this is the guy his parents see in him, as opposed to the raging crack God, goblin they normal. store in their attic. We can clearly see that there are fans who do care about him, despite the presence of hate watchers in the past. Austin's updated status was flashed on the screen during this stream, including Platinum 6 status and over $10 million wagered. Unfortunately for those hoping the time off may have changed Boss Man for the better, the first stream ended just like they always do. Oh my god! Oh my god! No way! Oh! What the f*** was that? Holy s***, boss! You want to no, go! Hey! Oh, come on! God! Imagine living like that. Dude, are you f***ing kidding me? Only just... days after returning to kick, a feud between Austin and a small kick streamer yeah. named Nick White caused the most severe repercussions to his channel to date. Viewers in his chat told Austin that Nick was badmouthing him on stream, causing the crack-induced rage to boil over to a point of no return. Austin called Nick a derogatory term, formerly belonging to the vast gamer lexicon, but uh. nowadays falling under the category of homophobic slurs. I bet yeah. you have 200 subs, bro. You're a fucking failure. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking fa- The use of this unspeakable six-letter F-word would almost immediately result in a month-long ban from Damn, streaming on kick. Long. Nick claims to have nothing to do with the beef and that it was only his viewers stoking the fire. <laughs> I'm innocent, y'all. It wasn't me. He's the butcher. Austin, meanwhile, attempted to appeal the ban in a very informal email, given the gravity of the situation, writing, I'm honestly at a loss of words. I first got suspended for doxing someone that was close to my community for scamming me, which I understand doxing is not acceptable. I got a week for that. Then I lost $4,000 in just a matter of seconds and hit myself on the head and got suspended for self harm. Now, I stand up for myself after multiple accounts this Nick guy has sent to my stream and call him one word and I get an entire month suspension? This doesn't sound justified at all. Are you serious? I feel like I'm being targeted. Why in the world should this ban be- Feels like he's talking to his mom or dad, not someone that owns a company. Be an entire month for someone that was literally harassing me and hate watching me via his stream. I feel like you guys don't have my back at all. And that sucks because I've put in a year's worth of streams on your platform. I've done a lot of advertising and I bring a lot of traffic to kick. I doubt you guys will even consider lifting this or unbanning me. I just want to ask you one thing. Do you really think this is justified? Wow. I just lost my job for a month. My 8k a week from stake, my 2000 subs, because I stood up for myself and called another streamer that's harassing me a- in 2024, 2023, whenever this was happening, you can't say certain words on a streaming platform. That's just how it is. That's reality. And you've got to abide by the, the rules. So before you stream, know the TOS and know what you can and can't do before you do end up like this. A hate word. Wow. From what my community says, Aiden Ross has said this word and many other streamers have said this word and never got banned for it. I want to know, why didn't they get banned and I did? Have a fantastic night. I'm extremely depressed right now. Well, I think it's all the the extreme gambling, the bashing your furniture, the house, talking bad to your mom, parents, talking badly in chat. I mean, it's added up. Like, you know, it's not just probably this was the tip of the, uh, the nail to the coffin kind of saying, you know what I mean? and am actually extremely devastated from this. My viewers and myself are pretty hurt and shocked by this. I can promise you and assure you that if you would reconsider the suspension or maybe lift it early, that I will never say another hate term or use hate speech again. I mean, let's be fair. Have I ever done a violation that you guys suspended me for more than once? No, because I learned my lesson just like I will and have this time. As informal- I've been on Twitch for three years and I've never got suspended once, so. Well, as it is, I gotta say, he sounds pretty reasonable for someone regularly smoking straight boulders. However, Kick held their ground on the basis of multiple stack violations. They seem to be cleaning up their act a bit due to the reputation the site got, and yeah. despite bigger streamers regularly behaving worse, he was caught in the crossfire of the circumstances. Austin claimed he would not be returning to Kick as a result of his unlifted ban. Instead, he wanted to go back to where it all started, Twitch.tv. Yeah, he shared no. some great news with the Discord that he had gotten a new deal with a different company called BC Games. The DT Details of this deal included a weekly salary of $4,000, the same initial deal he got from Stake, and still an insane amount of money for a guy who never has to leave his bedroom to do his job. Additionally, he would get four $1,000 hourly fills per day to use for betting. With this in place, this deal is actually far better than what he was getting with well, Kick. I should mention lucky. though, this is sort of what he was accusing Yasuo of doing when he was talking about making bets with fake money. Additionally, to this day, he always makes sure to mention that he's in debt, and while I'm inclined to believe him, considering how frequently he loses, I'm starting to consider the possibility that maybe that's just a way of setting himself up for more juicers. With the amount of money this guy
guy is raking in from the website sponsorships, I'm hard pressed to believe he's actually totally broke. It's just, it's not all adding up. I assume he's not spending thousands of dollars a month on crack. Where is the money he's actually getting going? With the fills, it's almost a million. You reckon he's doing a big brainer? Fooling everyone by saying he's got no money, being the poor man but have money. Oh boy. And a half in a single contract. But considering Twitch's policy on gambling, it wouldn't be shocking if they banned him eventually. Unlike Chris Chan, Austin isn't someone whose fate was shaped from the beginning, slowly sliding down a slope of delusion and inevitable doom. No, Austin had and continues to have a very fair shot at having a normal life. At any moment, he could actually walk away from all of this and go live a normal life if he just puts down the pipe and stops gambling. And if he left now, he'd have a fan base. So if he went and did in real life streams, he would have a good fan base because he's, people know he's entertaining, so he could do anything. Um, he could be a gamer, like, I don't know, um, he could be a cook, I don't know, cooking streams, they like that, I don't know. But no matter what, whenever he seems to be given the chance to do so, he never takes it. Actually, it seems that it prompts him to double down. I get that he's regularly getting thousands of dollars dangled in front of his face, and his contract is worth well over a million, but when you factor in the damage this will do to his mind and life, and that most of the money is getting sucked out of his pockets and right back into the grinder of gambling anyway, it's just not worth it. As it stands right now, if the crack doesn't take him, the gambling eventually will. And unlike most of his streams, it will not be entertaining to watch, even for the most sadistic members of his audience. As hard as the drugs he likes are, I recognize how insane what I'm about to say is, that he believes he will be successful once he gets off of it, which leads me to believe that while he's genuinely planning to stop using, he doesn't even consider the possibility that he should stop gambling. If anything, he actually blames the drugs for his lack of success in gambling. Ba oh my god. Based on certain moments in the past when he's expressed that he does actually pay attention to things people say about him online, I actually have some hope that Austin hears this next part or that someone clips this and sends it to him. In all honesty, this is something of a tragic story because Austin is a very funny person who could make pretty much any kind of yeah, content great. work. I could see him as a Tyler One kind of streamer who, while often getting very angry and loud, can contain it to the live streams and otherwise be a normal person. I mean, imagine this guy playing video games and being bad at them. That would be hilarious. <laughs> but unfortunately for him, no game will hit as hard as slots. Hopefully yeah. we get to see Austin turn his life around before he drives himself to actually doing something irreversible, but I wouldn't bet on it. I've been Turkey Tom, thanks for watching, and until next time, leave me alone. Well. Online gambling is That was um, an interesting video, so wonder if boss man Jack Scott hit him money and he's actually a big brainer, or he's just addicted to gambling and drugs. I don't know. I don't really know. It's a hard one because as the um, Turkey Tom said, um, he's got the contract and the numbers aren't adding up. Obviously, Turkey Tom watches his some of his streams or whatever. But um, yeah, there was a real good video about what um, gambling and drugs can do to a person and a bit of Twitch fame and kick fame can do to you and to, to make you lose your mind and get this vicious cycle. Um, he was gambling like all his money every day. He said he was broke. The drugs and yeah, just losing his mind. Bad, probably bad for your heart. He lived with his parents and his uh, mum and dad. So obviously, if he was living like in a house that he rented, he couldn't. I don't reckon he could do it as much as gambling as he did. But God bless his mum was really, really nice and still loved him. Um, I'm hoping he does change one day because he has a personality and he's pretty funny. But that's why everyone's there to see him lose because he loses his shit. And he reacts, and when he wins, he wins big, it's pure, he doesn't hide it. Um, he just says what he feels, and he's just a simple guy that just likes gambling and drugs. I mean, I hope one day if he hits it big, you, you know, you never know. But will it ever be big enough for him to quit um, gambling? I don't know, but let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll leave a link in the description for Turkey Tom. Um, if you've got any suggestions for videos, send them to me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next video. Stay wacky. Bye.